Hi everyone. One of my favourite activities I love bringing out in the Babies Together group is gloop. What is gloop, I hear you ask? Well, gloop is quite simply a mix of corn flour and water. That's all there is to it. It's great because it's got a lovely texture when it's dry. It's very, very soft. It's, it's almost like talc. But when we add water to it, it has one of the most peculiar textures and it ends up, I'm going to just lift some of this up so that you can see it. Look at that. It's pouring away there. So actually it goes between a solid and a liquid state. It's, it's really quite fun. And when you see the parents, actually the parents spend more time playing with the gluten than the babies do sometimes. So... Let your baby make marks in this. So I've just got plain corn flour here. It's totally dry. So even if they bring it up to their mouth, I've got it in my hands, I've got a towel on my knee. It just disappears so quickly. Really, it's one of the best things if you really don't like mess. You can give them spoons and, and brushes and dabbers. They might do this kind of movement. They might do that kind of movement. Guess what? Your baby is making their earliest marks. Yeah, yeah, this is all the precursors to them writing. It's building up the strength in their fingers. So when they're picking it up, you know, you might be making fun noises like, oh, it's squeegee. It's squeegee. Yeah. Give them the language. So we've got the dry. Here's another way that you can do it. If you really don't like mess, we can get you used to it. Obviously, you've got to supervise this because it's in a, a plastic bag. So we've put the corn flour into here and I've put some bits of straws. The baby, you can tape this securely to your table or on the floor. The baby can be lying on the floor doing all this, doing tummy time. Uh, and this is, you know, not going to make a mess anywhere. Tape it down and just make sure never ever leave your baby alone with any activity, let alone something like this. What else can you do with gloop? Well, look at this. I have put the gloop, see how it changes texture. I've put the gloop on a mirror. Babies love mirrors. They love looking at faces and they see themselves in the mirror. Now, when they're very wrong, young, they don't actually realise it's them in the mirror, but they see something, they see them, ooh, let's try and get a hold of this. It's great because they're just experimenting with things. Another thing that you can do, I took this off the kitchen side. All this is, I've got a draining board here, so exactly the same. The baby can be picking up, trying to pick it up in between, you know, all those little knobbly bits that are there on your drain board side. And it's really good for their fine motor skills, for their hand-eye coordination. And it's a totally different texture because they've got the soft gloop, but they've also got these hard knobbly bits. So put these simple things out for your baby, let them explore, let them have fun. And it's a bit about, yes, we're giving them language and we're encouraging them, but also, just let them explore on their own. If your baby's doing something, maybe they're you know going like this with their hands or they're patting, copy them. If they're making noises, they're trying to tell you something. So copy them. Oh, you like that, do you? When they're going, oh, ah, ah, you know, making all sorts of noises. It is a lovely activity. Please don't be afraid of getting messy because... Messy play is a very important part of your baby's development. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And hey, get us some pictures and tell us if you did this with your baby. You know, gloop or you've got older children. Get them involved. Get them playing with the baby too. But I promise you, it really is lots of simple, cheap fun. Bye.